In this video, we're going to replace the right front ABS wheel sensor. In a previous video, I showed how to remove the fuse for ABS in order to uh, stop this uh, annoying and possibly hazardous malfunction. There's the location of it, of the connector where the wiring goes in if you need to get at that that way through the wheel well from the engine side. And there's where it connects on the wheel well cover. I'm going to take out the wheel well cover and work on it that way. To do so, you have to remove some, I believe it's 7 30 seconds fasteners and also panel fasteners. And then we need to jack it up and take off the right, the right wheel. Remove the brake caliper and bracket. And I'm showing that here, the 18 millimeter highly torqued bolts. Get those two out of the way, off of there, and we can pull that out. Okay, with the bracket out of the way, now we can remove the rotor. And with that wheel well cover out of the way, we can simply unplug it here. And I checked for 5 volts first, and it's there. Sensor cabling mounts to the brake hose by some standoffs. and Just pull those off of there, and uh, then the cable's free. Remove 8 3 8 millimeter screws, bolts, holding this little cover. And there's the sensor itself. Okay, this is another 8 millimeter holding it back here. This is a T30. Just kind of rocking this back and forth a little bit to break it loose. Been in here a long time. So, um, this is not the intact sensor. The outer cover that goes over that coil of wire is still in there, so we're going to have to dig that out. That broke apart. Okay, we're just trying to pry this broken piece out now. Get it out of there. You can grab it with some needle nose pliers. It came out in pieces. You know, we're testing the sensor out of the vehicle. And I'm going to put a piece of metal in front of it. It is magnetic. Here we can see the reading with nothing on it. 413 ohms. I'm going to bring the metal in proximity to it. Only 410 ohms and that's not enough. The sensor is bad. For comparison purposes, I'm looking at the left front sensor, which is good, and you can see a much wider, wider range of resistance as I turn that rotor. So I found a replacement sensor. Found this on eBay. It's only around ten dollars. I mean, the OEMs on this one, they're over a hundred dollars. So we're going to give this one a try. Okay, T15. And eight millimeter. Right back here. And it threads up under here.
standoffs on the brake hose. Okay, this is the replacement part. I'm turning the rotor. Resistance seems good. Okay, perfect fit. We'll see if it works. Okay, put this cover back on. Since the replacement of the sensor, the ABS uh, trouble light's gone off and it's been working perfectly. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, there's more great content in the pipeline.